So, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. It's all about viruses and how to make them. They're not technically really viruses, as they don't interfere with the user quite as much as a real virus would. It's really just a really annoying command prompt. You know, it's a, it's a group of commands. So let me go and open it in Notepad. So you'll see right here is that it uh, it simply makes a loop using a counter, and then it changes certain things using a counter. And this is the largest variable. No, not the largest variable. This is the largest singular text piece that you can have. Singular text character right here. One of these is like 256 bits. Or bytes. One of the two. Anyway, you, it puts all these characters. I can make this a lot longer, but I don't want it to write for too long. It puts all these into a counter. .txt, which then gets placed into a directory, which we make at the very beginning, also using the same counter variable. And then it goes back to the loop right here, and it just repeats this for a while until it makes a whole bunch of things. So now, I plan on making this a series. I've already created a few of these viruses, if you will, and I plan on releasing uh, maybe three or four more videos. I plan on taking this over to C++ and making uh, .exes that I can use. And then after I use .exes, maybe you can try something that's a little more silent. But I don't plan on going into it too much. And a quick little disclaimer is that I'm doing this all in my private network, and it's not not going to damage anyone else's stuff. And this is only for educational purposes and proofs of concepts. Because other than that, it'd probably be kind of sketchy on the, legal, on the legal ground, so yeah, let me go and run it for you. So it doesn't look like it's doing anything, and then there it is. So each one of these contains exactly one .txt. This is just a stray thing. It's all the um, messages that the command prompt would normally say, which is unimportant, but you know, good to have. So if we go ahead and go like this, and select them all, then we can go ahead and right click and select properties, and we can see that it is 22 kilobytes. So that's really small, but I'll show one later that is quite a bit larger. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, then maybe consider subscribing to see more stuff like it in the future.